the perfect. Yeah, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I grew up with a large family. I got 12 brothers and eight sisters. And we all used to, you know, we used to share crop when I was coming up. When I was 16, I came from New York. I had a table on the, on the street. There was this guy who used to come by every day in a cab. You get the fried chicken, eat it, and get back in the cab, and go back downtown. He said, we're from New York time. It was my first write-up, and, you know, and I, it, you know, I didn't know what to do because, you know, I never had nothing like that. Charles Gabriel is a name that's known for every Southerner who's spent any time in New York because this is where we go to get real, perfect fried chicken. Agreed. It's where you get your fix. It's where you get your fix. Here's the thing about why his chicken is perfect. It's that it's seasoned a little bit at three different stages in the process. He has a seasoning, um, which he says is secret, but I'm guessing is salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and dehydrated onion. He puts that on the pieces of chicken, sort of like a dry rub, and then leaves it for eight hours. And then seasons the egg wash a little bit, not a lot. Okay. And then the floury dredge gets a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Okay. You know, shake excess flour off so it won't be so gummy, you know. You put too much wash and you put it in the flour, it's gonna be all, you know, like a heavy crust on it. And sometimes it don't even out when you cook it. Okay. Charles prefers to use soybean oil, which of course is a southern ingredient. It's a pure, cleaner flavor. And so the chicken flavor, that sort of caramelized, beautifully golden chicken skin and chicken fat uh, comes through. We're also talking skillet fried chicken, not that basket that you just drop in the thing and then you disappear for 20 minutes. And my mother always told me, you know, if you ever fried chicken, because she the one who taught me the recipe and everything. She said, if you ever fried chicken, never use a deep fry, always use a frying pan. Then a deep fry, you smother. That means you're going to get more oil in the chicken when you eat it. You got, like, that's where you get that greasy taste from. Once this cook about seven minutes or eight minutes, then it start brown, then I start to turn it. You got to turn it more than once, maybe about eight times or more, until it get nice and brown. I think that this is the only establishment probably in the world that's still doing skillet fried chicken. It takes time, it takes labor, and it takes a touch that not everyone has. Nice. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you, yes. The crust here is light, crispy, evenly golden brown all over. It's interesting, this thigh here, you can see this divot. It's a technique that Charles does. He like uh -huh. plunges the tongue into the center of the thigh and brings the blood to the surface so it cooks quicker. Sounds great. But I believe it. I mean, how's it going down? Great, perfectly seasoned, not a smidgen too salty. Mm. The chicken is moist, but it's not at all greasy, you know? Right. It's not at all overcooked. You can see it's still it's beautiful. A little pink at the bone. This is pretty perfect. Mmm. 